Three, two, one, go. We're gonna make chainmail juggling balls. And these are chainmail juggling balls. You can juggle them. Um, but some people just like play with them because they like the sound. So you don't have to actually juggle them. Uh, these are the stages. All of these stages. And you're gonna end up making two of these and putting them together. And we're gonna start with loose rings like this. Uh, I've separated them out into piles, which I will explain. Um, and then there's a few different, there's two different kinds of rings. These are steel rings, and they are reinforcing. Um, they go at the very top and the very bottom of the ball, or the very center of this thing. And the reason they are there is because all of the other rings will pull the center apart. So here there's a dark circle, a uh, dark purple center, and all of the light yellows pull the dark purple apart. And we used to not have a reinforcement ring, but then we had them fall apart a couple times, so now we put these, these steel rings, in the center below there to reinforce. Um, there's a few different vocabulary things. So uh, this is fully opened. Um, and what that refers to is how far apart the two ends are. If I can take a different ring and just slide it in like that, then that means that this is open fully. Uh, and when you open fully, you shouldn't open it much more than that. Just enough so that you can do this is enough. You don't need to do it super wide. So I'm going to show you an example you don't need to do this. That is way too wide. Um, it's more than wide enough. <laughs> Definitely wide enough for sliding a ring in, but you only need it to be just wide enough that you can do this. Um, this is a fully closed ring. Um, the ends are kind of hard to spot, actually. Oh, there they are. I can see the two ends. So I can take the two pliers and go like this and show you that this is indeed a ring that has a split. Um, and now I can close it again. And then these are both half-open rings. And you can take the half-open rings, both of the half-openings or half-closings, and slide them together and they won't be able to come apart in any other way. Um, so those are the different states of these rings, and the different kinds of rings, and the different stages for making these kinds of juggling balls. And I will explain how to go from loose rings like this to building the different stages like these, all the way through until you have a ball that you can juggle like these.